Hi. Uh, Chris Sims here, EA34. And uh, I'm going to quickly talk about a little bit of the prop balancing system that a couple of us have here that uh, EA members, EA Chapter 34 members, can use for like 50 bucks. Now, this is my uh, aircraft at annual. It's super easy to do when you're at annual because everything is opened up and you can get to things. But you don't have to open up the whole cowl to do this. What we've got is a uh, accelerometer here and a, um, a strobe that will uh, look at a piece of tape that's on the back of the, of the propeller and it will uh, flash the uh, the computer every time that goes by so it gets an accurate RPM so now you can check your RPM on your tachometer make sure everything is reasonably close and if it's not then you can make mental adjustments if you have a, a mechanical a tachometer for what your true RPMs really are um, and then it runs over here to this box which is the computer the DynaVibe uh, computer uh, when it's running you will um, let it run for a bit and then you will push the button here to uh, have it start averaging everything that it has seen for like the last 15 seconds, let's say between uh, or between times that you average. And so it'll have average and then you can shut the motor down, see what you've got there and enter that into a, a little uh, graph that's, uh, that DynaVibe uh, provides you. And then you will see where the heavy side is in this particular model. You'll go to the opposite side of the uh, flywheel on a, on a Lycoming anyway. Um, and the Lycomings are nice because they actually have holes drilled at every 30 degrees on the flywheel. And in this case, as you can see, I've already balanced this one before and there's the weights that have been added to them, to the flywheel. But we're just gonna, since I have the DynaVibe uh, available and the aircraft is opened up, we just think this is a great time to do it again. So we're going to run it and kind of see how we're doing it, see if anything changed. Uh, you should be doing this about every 400 hours anyway, <clears throat> or anything that if you ever take the propeller off, if you change the spinner plate, anything that changes on here, this is well worth it. A lot of places are going to charge you $300. Now, if it's a certified airplane, you do need to have a A&P mechanic sign it off. But if you're experimental, then you can do this anytime you want. And just doing it just to see where you are uh, is, should be no problem at all. I mean, if you do see it, if, if you're doing an annual and you are concerned, then you, then you for 50 bucks, you find out where your balance is. If it's way out, uh, it's re measured in, in uh, IPS, which is inches per second of acceleration. Uh, the goal is to be under 0.1 um, IPS. A lot of these are going to be, uh, when you're in really bad shape, it, you're going to see 0 0.25, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, maybe 0 0.5. Uh, that's just telling you there's a lot of vibration going on in the aircraft. Uh, that will result in broken welds on your uh, motor mounts, um, cracks in your uh, aluminum, shakes your instruments up on the, um, on the firewall or on the uh, instrument panel. Uh, it's actually sending little vibrations just throughout the whole aircraft structure. None of that's really good. You might even get cracks in the windscreen. So for 50 bucks, this is a great insurance to make sure that something that you can actually control um, is not a problem. Now, when you buy or have a prop uh, overhauled or you buy a new prop, all they do is they statically balance it to make, it, uh, make sure it's pretty close. They have a little... Um, a level that they put the thing, uh, the prop on, the bubble that goes to the middle, and once they have that balance, that's good enough for them. But really, there's a lot of things going on on the flywheel that can cause that to move out of the balance for this propeller only, such as I replaced my uh, spinner plate last year because of a crack, and that threw the uh, balance out. So what we did, um, we took it, took the uh, for this Grumman, all you have to do is take the top of the cowl off and connect this all up and then uh, you can uh, check the balance and we did have to move the weights around a little bit because things changed. A new, a new rotational uh, component was put on the aircraft and therefore the balance had, had moved. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna I'm try to stitch uh, the uh, running of the balancer and then uh, maybe the solution when we get to that point.
Okay, so on this Dynavibe, this is, an, I'm idle RPM right now, but it's just to kind of show what we're doing. So the Dynavibe is running, the motor's running, I got 1,000, uh, 1,100 RPM, which matches my, uh, my uh, Dynon Skyview, which is good. Right now we got 0.11 ips. At, uh, and the tell, so it's telling me where the heavy weight is at 205 degrees, 210 degrees. It moves around a little bit, that's normal. But what we do is we come up here and with this an averaging button, if I push that, then it's gonna start averaging everything that the Dynavibe has been seeing for the last, uh, let's say 15 seconds. Uh, we're, when we do high power runs, we're not gonna run it uh, for very long. And then it will tell me that my, my my, let's say 15 second average is 0.05 ifs at uh, 126 degrees. That's the heavy side, so I'd have to go opposite that to add weight if I want to get it better. But you really can't get better than that. You'd be working all day and it starts to shift and wobble around. It gets very difficult when you have that low of a, of a vibration. Okay, so we've balanced the Grumman, but we started off at 0.13 inches per second. And uh, we at 115 degrees, that's where the heavy weight was. So based on the prop, 115 degrees, looking at it from the front going opposite, so we'd have to go counterclockwise. The heavy weight was, uh, the heavy side was down here at about 115 degrees. So we came over and we added the weight at, uh, about 335 degrees or so, and uh, we added uh, 17 grams, and that took me down to uh, 0 0.07. Uh, that's a balanced prop. Uh, this prop has been balanced before, therefore I wasn't very far out, but uh, that's what you'd have to do, and you can see how we have, um, this is AN hardware, but it's got uh, the bolt, the washer, on, on the, the uh, engine side of the flywheel and a castle nut, and that's all balanced up real nice. Uh, if you have a Continental, you'll have a, fl uh, a um, spinner plate that you'll have to drill, and the way you do that is you'll come in here with longer, a couple of longer screws and put the weights right on the outer edge of, this, of the spinner, and then once you get a good balance, then you'll have to come in and sum the forces and uh, come in a couple inches along that line and then sum the forces and then come up with a, a solution. And it should work. Hope you enjoyed the video.